How do you get a 460 Smith & Wesson rimmed cartridge to work in a Savage action? Uh, normally, a rimmed cartridge head spaces off of the rim, whereas most Savage rifles head space off the shoulder with some type of a high-powered rifle cartridge. So what I did is I came up with the idea of making a little bit of a ridge here. That's, there's a little projection that sticks out here on this barrel. Sticks out about 75 thousandths of an inch. And I turned the diameter of this thing down to about 0.525 because the bolt face for this thing is about 0.530. And then after I got it all together and I got it head spaced, then I took my Dremel tool and I machined off from about right here to down here at the bottom, about 90 degrees. I actually went a little bit more than 90 degrees. And that gives the extractor a place to grab on the cartridge. Pacific Tool and Gauge is making a bolt head now for this application. So I ordered this from PT and G and it is a Savage bolt head which is made for the 460 Smith and Wesson cartridge. So now the cartridge goes in here like this. I got it set up, got it reamed out and there's this little uh, place cut away here on the side all the way down here to the bottom or whenever this bolt goes over here like that, that bolt can catch on that cartridge and then it will extract it. I don't think I can do it here with one hand, but it's, it's got to be cut out here and then it's got to be cut out at the bottom because your bolt turns whenever you do that and then you come back. So that was my solution to this problem. Uh, I thought some other gunsmith might have the same problem. So that's a way that you can get a 460 Smith & Wesson or really any other rimmed cartridge to work in a Savage rifle because you're still head spacing off this rim right here. Okay, I had to use two hands to get this thing on there. So now I've got the bolt over the cartridge and I can turn it like this and it still holds on to it and pull it up here like we're going to extract it. Pull it out so it's grabbed onto the case head and now it's going to pull the case out of the, out of the chamber. So all you need to really do is whenever you machine the barrel and you get it threaded you uh, machine this projection on here. I just did it by turning the barrel back about 75 thousandths. The diameter of this uh, projection is 0.525 because the bolt face is 0.530. That gives